Hi guys, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be about some disappointing products. Products which I have tried in the year 2018 and they did not really work out for me. I did not fall in love with them. I may have too much expectations from them and they did not work out. I can't make them work. So I'm going to talk about those products. So without much further ado, let's quickly get started with today's video. So here I have a few products in front of me which I've tried past year and they did not really work out that well. Uh, I don't know how to make them work anymore. It happens sometimes that even though I don't like a particular product, I can make it work some way or the other. But I feel like these are the products I have just given up on. I don't really like them that much i don't find myself very happy and joyful when i'm using them so these are that's why in my disappointing products list so they ha haven't really worked out for me but i am pretty sure that these may have worked out for somebody makeup is such a personal choice i am just letting you guys know why it did not work out for me you can make a better uh, decision for yourself if it, this product is going to work out for you or not so let's get started there are two base products i want to start off with now this one is the first product which i did not really did not really like first of all the shade match is just totally off i think this is the deepest shade this is the australis o2 glow foundation and i have tried it i think uh i would say past the end of 2017 so it's not really i've tried this in 2018 end of 2017 but i feel like i haven't really mentioned it uh, too many times on my channel so i just want to let you guys know i think this is a good foundation it has aloe vera and vitamin a it has anti-aging properties it has light diffusing properties so it the claims are very good of this foundation but a the, i don't have a shade match for the uh, this foundation and i don't really like the texture of this foundation it's quite heavy it's not very full coverage but the uh, foundation itself is quite heavy and it feels very very thick and like very clumpy it's it takes a little bit of effort to blend it out although i haven't really found a shade match so it doesn't really blend out that much but i feel the consistency is like too thick for my liking and uh i don't know the undertone of it is totally off it is very very cool tone although i think the shade name of it is something warm but i don't really have the shade name here so it's very difficult for me to tell you which shade is this i know it's the deepest shade so yes this foundation did not really work out for me the texture is too heavy probably if i get a shade match if they expand their line in the future i can probably try it out again but for the time being i would say there is no shade match in this and the consistency of the foundation also i did not really like so if you're close to my skin tone i will not recommend this foundation the other product is this one from tarte the same problem with this one this is the amazonian clay bb tinted moisturizer this is the shade tan by the way and it is so white this is the shade tan i mean how is this the shade tan uh, i have another one uh medium tan uh, or deep medium deep something like that one shade above in the foundation that is pretty okay it looks tan but how is this tan i just don't understand so the first bummer is that i don't have a shade match for this i ordered it online thinking that tan would be okay but it's not and this uh, vb cream also it just doesn't blend out it's very thick it has spf of 20 but i feel for a bb cream i prefer something light so i did not really enjoy this bb cream a because of the shade match and even if i mix it with something it's a little it sits a little too heavy on the skin it looks like i'm wearing foundation so that's why it did not work out for me if you are someone who likes your bb cream to have some coverage i think you might like it because it has more coverage than some of the other bb creams i have tried but for me it did not really work out a because of the shade and also because of the fact that it's a little bit too much for a bb cream and also because of the spf 20 i think it looks even more like white uh, on the face so yeah i did not really like that bb cream from tarte okay next we have this product now this product i think it it's not really a fault of this product but yeah i'm kind of disappointed in myself that why i have purchased this because this one doesn't really work for me and it doesn't really serve any purpose i think for my skin tone most of these shades are a little off uh like uh, green will correct redness uh this is like a peach corrector which is of no use for my skin tone this is like a white corrector i have no idea how it works 
it's probably like a highlight shade and this is like a concealer shade which is more like a beige yellow concealer none of these shades actually really work out for my skin tone so probably i am doing something wrong or this product is not for my skin tone whatever concealing i want to do it's mostly around the mouth area which is like a dark pigmentation so that is usually concealed by a orange or orange reddish corrector so that is not available here i have no idea why i have purchased this i got it when i did not really know a lot about color correcting so this is not like the product's fault maybe a little because i think the colors are not very pigmented uh, probably this will work mainly on fairer to medium skin tones on deeper skin tones this doesn't really have a lot of uh, value uh, so yeah this was a fail for me i don't think i can make that work okay next we have another color correcting powder i have been trying this uh, color correcting things but none of them have actually worked till now other than the orange corrector from la girl which i have used and it works really well for underneath the mouth if i have to ever color correct and use some concealer which i think is a very tedious step but sometimes it's nice to do okay next product which has been a huge disappointment is this one from kiko milano i had got this from india and this is the color correcting face fixing powder uh, there is no shade name or anything but this is basically a color correcting powder now can you see the hues i don't know the, if the camera is catching up the hues so there is a lavender sort of a color peach yellow and green so you're supposed to take this powder and apply it on your face as a finishing powder and it's supposed to magically color correct what are the claims okay the box doesn't have any claims but what i had understood is that it is going to give your skin a more even on a look and is going to do some color correction now i don't know if this is a total gimmicky product or it works on fair skin tone i have no idea this is like a totally white product if i swirl my brush around and pick up the product it's like totally white it gives a ghostly white cast on my face so there is no way i can use this i am not even sure if this is going to work on medium skin tone i think this is going to work on extremely fair skin tone and i am not really sure if it will work or not because i don't see how it's going to work because when you swirl the brush it's white in color it's more like a finishing powder so you have to be really really white for this finishing powder to be working on you so yeah i don't see the point of it if anybody has used this or used this correctly then please enlighten us in the comment section uh because i have no idea how to make that powder work and i don't think it will work on like medium tan deep skin tone stay away from that powder next i have a few bronzers first bronzer is this one from color pop yeah there is a color pop product this is the bronzer shade why don't i have the shade name okay if the shade name is not here i will mention it in the description box it's one of the bronzers so this is how this bronzer looks and i picked up this shade this is i mean the depth of the color is okay but i don't like these sort of bronzers these are like very neutral almost towards the cool tone side i don't prefer these bronzers i prefer very warm bronzers for my skin tone and i kind of got the feeling from the color pop website that this is going to be a warm bronzer but it's not so it doesn't really work on my skin tone it doesn't really show up that much i use warm bronzer for contouring and bronzing i think that looks best on me i don't really use any cool tone bronzers so this is i don't know this is not going to work for me if i have to show you my favorite bronzer so this is my favorite bronzer this is a two faced chocolate celine bronzer and this is the color pop bronzer now you will see what i mean what are the kind of bronzers i like this is more deeper this shows up on my skin tone well this also deep but i don't like the undertone of this bronzer it's a very cool tone neutral sort of a bronzer i like these kind of bronzers so this was kind of disappointing for me i will use it a little bit but yeah i don't really love that and the other bronzer which i was very very disappointed with is this one from physicians formula this is their deep bronzer this has they have recently uh, not recently exactly they have launched this a new shade there has been always a debate about physician formula not having enough deep shades so they have released this deep shade now you can see how deep this is i don't think it's deep enough this also i feel like it will suit more medium skin tones i will again compare this to the too faced bronzer as you can see 
it is quite light even for the even for it being deep it's quite light it doesn't really show up that well on my skin tone so if you're close to my skin tone this physicians formula butter bronzer in the shade deep bronzer i don't think it's going to work that well for you if you want like a very very bronze look this may work as a light bronzer but i don't want a light bronzer i want a nice warm natural deep bronzer so this one i was a bit disappointed because this this doesn't work for me next we have some blushes that did not work out first of all we have this colourpop blush i don't know i don't really like this formula this is the uh, super shock cheek mate blush the color is just so so beautiful my problem is i can't i don't know how to apply this i if when i apply this using a finger see it picks up the color i don't know if you can tell it's pick it picks up the color and when i go to apply it on my cheek see now when i'm demoing it now it will show up very nicely but it doesn't show up that well on my cheeks <laughs> on my hand it is showing up pretty nicely but when i go to apply it on my cheeks on on top of foundation and other products it just uh, doesn't show up i have no idea how to make this product work the color is just amazing i love these kind of corally blushes but i think i i just don't like these kind of cream to powder finish formulas so for me this was a disappointment i don't think i will buy these kind of blushes as you guys know i love colourpop i am a big fan of colourpop but i think i'll just stick to their powder products i think they work out the best for me okay we have two more kiko products these have been really really disappointing i am so upset about these these are the two blushes which i had purchased these are the shade uh, fusion trio blushes i have got two shades so i loved the formula so much I got two shades because the first one did not really work out for me so I got another one. So I have two shades with me. First one is 01 and this one is 03. Both of them are just too light for me. That's my only concern. This one I got it from India. I had got uh, bought it from Nyka. I think I just have to stick to the top layer here. Same goes for this one. If I stick to the top most stripe then they will work out otherwise if i swirl the brush around it's not going to work out and i think that's just too much work and these are not really that super cheap as well so i think if you're close to my skin tone just stick to blushes uh, like the single blushes from kiko milano i think they are really good they have some big blushes they are amazing quality but this trio blushes where there is like a very light shade on top if you swirl it around this is not going to show up that well on your skin tone on a uh, tan deep skin tone so if you're fair to medium skin tone i think these blushes will look much better on you and if you're close to my skin tone and you want to try out these blushes the formulation is really really good but you'll have to stick to this area i have another blush palette which did disappoint me a little bit it's not a blush palette it's a face palette so this is from zoeva you guys know how much i love zoeva products they are amazing i love these but this face palette did not really work out for me this is the opulence face palette i have a full uh, review on this face palette and this is how the face palette looks like now in this there is a highlighter which i think is too powdery too light for my skin tone doesn't really work out there is this one blush which is more like a peachy blush but it's a very light peachy blush so it doesn't really like i love my blushes to be very peachy and pinky I want them to pop a lot more on my skin tone so this one doesn't pop that much. If you're fair to medium you are not going to like this blush because it is intense intense blush. I'll just show you it's like super intense you can use it as an eyeshadow it's so pigmented. So I don't like the balance of this palette I had I had really loved it when it arrived but I have not been able to use it properly so that's why it's a disappointing product okay let's go to some eye products one is the eyebrow pencil from faces this is the all time pro eyebrow pencil i am using it i do not love it it's a good product it's i think it's the brown shade or something the shade match is not perfect the problem with this eyebrow pencil is that it's too creamy for me i don't like products which are just too creamy uh, like eyebrow products which are just too creamy you apply and it just melts away i don't like products like that this is easy to spread out because you have a spoolie very very easy and it stays on the uh, eyebrows pretty well and you get a nice uh, like eyebrow look but 
you have to sharpen it very very often because you will lose that precision uh, because it's so so creamy so you don't get a very precise application every time you have to sharpen a lot and I just don't like the consistency of it so I will probably not repurchase this I like the product but I don't love it and I am kind of disappointed with this because I felt like uh, this would be a very like very good eyebrow pencil for me but I have like different preferences for eyebrow pencil and I just did not like it next we have an eyeliner from Maybelline now this is the X everlasting gel XXS eyeliner which is their 0.5 mm eyeliner you guys know I love the hourglass 0.5 mm eyeliner it's just amazing it's the gel eyeliner this one is also a gel eyeliner it's supposed to be like similar to the hourglass one very very similar they have tried to dupe it but this is too stiff the hourglass one just when you apply it it just melts away it's just so creamy it's so easy to uh, apply you don't feel a thing but with this one it feels like you're poking your eye I mean it's so so stiff it's not as creamy or gel like as the hourglass one and yeah this has been disappointing I thought that I would get a cheaper alternative for the hourglass one but I would prefer to pay the $30 for the hourglass uh, gel eyeliner rather than by paying around $20 for this and now I have a whole lot of mascaras which I'm going to talk about okay so first mascara which did not work out for me Mistine Lace Swan mascara second mascara which did not really work, work out for me are this waterproof scandalized reloaded volume and extreme wear uh, mascara from Rimmel I'll give you the reason later on because the reason is the same for all the waterproof wonderful uh, mascara with argan oil so this is how the packaging looks like this is Rimmel the other one is also Rimmel sorry for the banging on the table I have this Australis Mega Lash Mascara this is how this one looks okay and I have one more mascara I'll talk about it at the end so these four mascaras I they I think they're just okay the reason why I don't like these are they just don't give the volume and length and lift that I want they just coat your lashes with the mascara and that's it they don't give you that extra oomph that volume that Whatever they have claimed, they don't provide. So I have been disappointed with these mascaras. I don't really use them. They just don't give me anything. I have done a video of my high-end mascaras. And my drugstore mascara favorite is has been the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. That's one of my favorite mascara. And none of these compare to the Essence Lash Princess. Like, they are just far away from the Essence Lash Princess. So, yeah, none of these work for me. And the last mascara which did not work for me and it's somehow it's still in the packaging is the Kiko Milano 30 days extension daily treatment mascara. First of all, this mascara is just a very regular drugstore mascara. It doesn't give a lot of volume or curl or anything. It clumps up my lashes quite a bit and I don't really see a lot of difference in my lashes. I have tried it for a few days but then I gave up because it's too much work you're supposed to apply it as a mascara and for continuously 30 days then you will see some results now I haven't used it for continuous 30 days so I will not say uh, if uh, whether it works or not I'm not saying that my review for this one is only as a mascara is that it doesn't really give me that oomph the volume it clumps up quite a bit so I did not really like this if it did some good things with my lashes like volume length and definition probably I would have used it more but since it did not do those things I have very very high standards for mascaras by the way so this did not live up to my expectations so I could not really use it for 30 continuous days and for whatever days I've used I think I've used it for two weeks around I did not see a lot of difference so this has been a huge disappointed uh, disappointment for me because I thought this is going to be something so amazing that I'm going to get these amazing lashes after 30 days but I did not really have the patience to go through this mascara for 30 days. So that's it guys. Those are all of my disappointing products for the year. If you have used any of these products then do let us know what was your experience. I would love to know. And I really hope that this video was helpful to you and you liked it. If you have liked it then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And if you are watching me for the first time then I really hope you consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you again really soon in my next video. Bye. Thank you.